Hey, what's up? I'm Holly. Today's vlog, we are going to be casting on a green traveler hoodie. Um, this is actually going to be my third one. And uh, I also have a business trip to Dallas. I'm going to be making some crochet amigurumi brain slugs for my coworkers slash best friends. This is going to be a chaotic, fun one. Here we go. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind and 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day I'll be yours. Good morning, good morning. Another week has arrived. What happened to the weekend? I don't, I don't know. My entire house is still sleeping, so I am being quiet. Um, my husband is actually off today for President's Day. Kids are out of school today, so everybody is here. And, I mean, we're going to have a blast, I'm sure. I'm working, though, so... Today I am wearing, this is actually the very first shawl that I ever knit. I followed a YouTube tutorial from Expression Fiber Arts, I think is her name. And anyway, she like walks you through the entire making of the shawl. I made it out of Knit Picks Hawthorne. I don't think I have it listed on my Ravelry because it was so long ago. I feel like it has like memories bunched up into it. So I love this thing. I am on my second skein of my Traveler hoodie in green and this is what I've got done so far I knit the hem and now we're working on the body portion so on my last two I did a twisted rib while it looks great it takes forever and I just didn't feel like it today I mean yesterday or whenever I casted this on and so I just did a regular ribbing and that's what we're doing this time. So this is where we are. It's Tuesday. I woke up this morning feeling like I had been hit by a train. Like it went in my face all over my body it was not a great time um but and you can probably hear it in my voice too we are just i don't know i feel like it's nothing you know a monster won't fix or some knitting won't fix it's fine everything's gonna be fine being under the weather is just not going to do right now so um I'm just ignoring it. We are we are rolling. I hope my body can keep up with my mind. So <clears throat> last night I was able to knit for <laughs> I don't know maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I did a few rounds on my traveler sweater here. I really just love these the slip stitches on the side. On the, the sides right there they're, they turn out really cute that's pretty much the only knitting that I got done yesterday I feel like I'm in this spot where I keep thinking that my to-do list is about to chill out like I'm checking my shit off and I'm like well cool, maybe then I can just take a break I mean take a breath like take like like a bit of an aid station for myself where I can take like I don't know 15 20 minutes to recharge my batteries 
watched, I think, like, two episodes of The Big Bang Theory. That show. Does anybody else watch that show? That is, like, my happy place at the end of a long day of work. If I can just chill with John and watch The Big Bang Theory and just laugh and laugh and laugh at Sheldon. I adore Sheldon. Um, I mean, it's a fantastic day. So we did that. And then I couldn't keep my eyes open any longer. And that was at like 8.45. Holly had to go to bed. Holly had to, like it was time. It was time. And in the afternoon, I actually lay down for 30 minutes because, tell me, if you have this issue too, I know I'm tired when I start feeling like I'm about to cry. <laughs> and I don't cry. I was starting to feel like, like these thoughts of like, I can't do this. I'm never gonna be able to get this done. I just need a second to think. It was, it was that. And just, I felt like if somebody asked one more thing of me, like I was going to embarrass myself. I was going to, I was, it was going to be bad for myself and for that poor person. So um, I decided that in the best interest of myself and everyone around me, I should just close my eyes for 30 minutes on the couch. It worked that I woke up, I grabbed a cup of coffee, I grabbed some water, I was back at my desk and I was good to go. Felt like I could take on the world. So, I guess when I start feeling that way, Holly just needs a nap. Noted. All right, I have got to get some work done. And then, um, I actually don't have a shit ton to do today as far as work goes. So, I'm hoping I will be able to knit in a bit. Yo, 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 good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday. And, oh my god, I forgot. Okay, so I was able to knit a little bit last night and then again this morning. Making decent progress on my traveler sweater. While I was knitting this morning, I also started my new book on my Kindle, The Silent Patient. It is got me, it's got me hooked already, which is super exciting. I think I'm on, I read all the way up until chapter 7. Tomorrow is the day that I head to my meeting, my business meeting that I am going to. So I have some stuff to wrap up here at home before I head to that. Uh, before I forget to mention it again, I am wearing a Muscle Bro hat and the yarn is by Yarnable. It was last summer like a I forget what theme it was but it was like a garden I think it was called garden party I think that's what it was but I'll have it linked below I was trying to think of something to quickly make for all of my co-workers that I'm going to be seeing over the weekend at the meeting and I needed something quick and easy so I found this this brain slug let me see if this will pull up this guy <laughs> um here's a couple other pictures of it if it'll pull up <laughs> and this is a free pattern by knit grit i found it on ravelry and there's also a youtube tutorial for it so if i go here and there, click on this YouTube link. All right, so <clears throat> I did print out the pattern, and it says I need a size D3 hook and worsted weight yarn. So, <clears throat> I found all of this in my stash. No green, but we're just going to have some colors. So, I have this orange. I have this 
bright, like, this is like a salmon-y pink color. I have this blue and vanished choice. I have this purple. I have no idea what kind of yarn that is. It's been a minute. I've got this blue left over from a Karen Cakes from years ago. I've got some Karen Simply Soft in black. I was thinking, I don't think I have buttons, so I might just make little eyes. I might just make little eyes out of the black. I've got more of this bluish color. I don't know where this is from, but that's there. And I've got this white again. I'm not quite sure what this is. It feels similar to a Karen Simply Soft or maybe, I don't think it's Red Heart Super Saver, but I have that. And I have these squares that I made a long time ago in yellow that I can take, you know, I can unravel if I need to. But I think we should be good. I haven't crocheted like an actual little project like this in years. So I am, I am like giddy about this. I broke out my crochet hook holder that I made. Oh my gosh. I made this maybe eight years ago. But anyways, it's like, there's a stain on it and everything, but this is the front. This is the back. I have <laughs> pens stuck in it. And then you open it up. Ta-da! This was really fun to make. I remember actually making this. And so, yeah, okay. But I need a size D hook. Okay, D. This is a D clover. I think these are tulip. I think this is a tulip hook. I'm not entirely sure as far as stuffing goes I think I have some in the closet if I don't I'll just use yarn to stuff into them and make them hold their shape Let's get going. I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay Okay, okay, maybe you can be all right, so we have this little hole. And we gotta... I have this. I found in my closet. Cool. No!
gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. Good morning, good morning. It's almost go time for me. Um, but I did get a bunch of brain slugs done last night. So, okay. So I crocheted three orange guys, three in the like salmon-y pink, and then one out of the Karen Cakes blue yarn. I used the size D clover hook on all of them. When I was reading the written pattern and watching the YouTube video, it was unbelievably confusing. So um, I just went with the video tutorial mostly and like just used what I know about crochet so far to um, figure this out. Then this morning, um, I went ahead and made all of the little white parts for the eyes. I made seven of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one for each eye. I need to get these on, all of these little guys. They get sewn on like that. And then I put some black yarn in the center for an eyeball. Not sure if I'm gonna have time to do the antennae or not, or antennae, antennae, antenna, whatever. Um, because I'm leaving at, what time is it? I'm leaving in like three hours and I still have some like work stuff and other stuff to wrap up. So we'll see what happens, but great. Here we go. Don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a time. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something
I did it. I finished all of them. They're so cute. I just crocheted little black circles for the eye. That worked out fine and I just sewed it on. But I have seven. I have seven little brain slugs. I don't think I'm even going to put the, the antennae on them. Um, I think they're really cute just like this, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm so excited to give them to my co-workers. Oh! I'm on the road. My traveler is traveling. Look, I had to say it, okay? There is literally nothing out here in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. You might see some cows. You might see some, like, can you see? Look. There ain't shit out there. I do see cows on the other side of the road though. I brought my coworkers their brain slugs. I'm nervous about how they're going to accept them. Um, but like, I think that they look, I don't know. It, it's like when I make things for someone else, I have this like thought that their reaction is going to be like internally is going to be oh great it's a handmade item this looks like shit it yeah i mean you can really tell it's home handmade i'm like always afraid that's <laughs> that's like what they're actually thinking but i mean whatever i always treasure the stuff that people give me and uh yeah i love getting handmade stuff. I guess we'll just see how this works out. Woo! Big boys! Check out this sun set. I almost said sunrise. Can you see it? Ooh, hey! Of course, the hill has to cover it up. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, buddy. Gorgeous. going to be casting something else on today which I can't wait to tell you about it's Monday and we are no it's not Monday today is actually Tuesday yesterday was Monday um, but a new week has begun I am stoked to be home stoked to be back with all of my yarn <laughs> and my favorite people in the whole wide world um, Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this vlog. It was really fun to film and edit. I just love doing this. So 
thanks for sticking around throughout the whole thing. I know, I'm guessing it's gonna be long. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.